In my time here in Rome, I've been interested in looking at the incredible amount of obelisks that network the city of Rome, and to think about this recurring monumental form, this seemingly irreducible singular form, and instead to unpack its many alternative valences and to consider the obelisk as a starting point in a kind of a history of uncertainty in architecture. My installation for Streetscapes is called A Mutual Involution of Things, and it brings the Vatican obelisk into the cortile of the American Academy in Rome. The title draws from Marcus Aurelius's Meditations, where he talks about the universe as either being a mutual involution of things or unity and order. What I'm interested in is this idea of involution and the possibility of cacophony and multiplicity producing a different kind of monumentality, one that moves against the kind of authority of form or the hegemony of form. The installation is a one-to-one -one replica of the Vatican obelisk that stretches from one end of the cortile to the other. Upon entering the courtyard, a white, light, hollow, levitating form stretches taut from end to end, and below it and dislodged from it, is a magenta shadow projected from its former standing position. What these two elements do to one another is to set into tension, into motion, the kind of fixity or the singularity of a single reading in the space. Of course, the sun changes throughout the day and many more shadows come into play in engagement with the installation. One of the things that struck me in thinking about the obelisks and the way that they behave in the city is the incommensurability of their form in plan and in elevation. In plan, they're single points, dots, the tiniest forms, and in elevation, they are these looming figures that call to you in the city. As we approach them, they almost disappear as they rise to the sky, and it is only the shadow on the surface of the piazzas that's left to kind of suggest the enormity of their scale. This is a very curious thing to me, the idea of an object that is so strange, that is, in a way, the biggest small thing and the smallest big thing. So I was interested in what would happen in turning the vertical into a horizontal in the cortile and making that scale measurable by the body, the entirety of that length. I was interested in seeing what happens in bringing the monument in and bringing the body into proximity with this monumentality. The project inverts our typical relationship to the object in the city. Essentially, it's turning the city in on itself. It's bringing the urban scale into the residential, domestic scale, institutional scale. But this inversion goes further. When we come upon an obelisk, we are interested not only in the thing itself, but in all of those invisible things that made it possible for this thing to be here the networks of labor, material, transportation, knowledge, precarity, intelligence that have brought this thing into being, this kind of implausible element. And I was interested as much in these invisible structures as I am in the thing itself. And so the material choices for the installation are really evocative of that. So using scaffolding netting and using garden pavers as a way of bringing the language of construction into proximity with the forms and the metaphysics of these monumental forms.